is manifesting? Manifesting is bringing in physical form what the things that you want. That's manifesting. I mean, that's that's the direct dir translation of it. But there's a lot more. There's a lot more that happens. Yes, there's a lot more that happens in order for manifestation to take place. But basically, it's like, okay, so I gave birth to a desire. Where is it? I want this thing. Where is it? Why hasn't it happened? So in today's terminology, the word that we use to, to describe the process that takes place between giving birth to a desire and actually having it so that you can touch it, feel it, hold it, go home with it, is what we call manifesting. Okay. And there's that's a very simplistic way of defining what happens in the background because in the physical world in the physical world things happen differently so if i i take this and i throw it if my intention was to throw it then i have an instant manifestation i let it go it fell i got what i wanted in, in the vibrational world, it is not always that simple. And the reason people are wanting to understand how manifesting works just now is because there are so many people who want so many things and those things are seem like they're out of reach. Right. And it gives rise to a lot of uh, dissatisfaction. You don't feel like you know, things are happening the way you want them to. Things are not going as fast as you want them to. You look at other people and they have things and you wonder, why is it that they have them and I don't have them? How am I different? Am I less than them? What is keeping things away from me? And and because of all those questions have, has started this whole um, era where we talk about manifesting because it's become... It's become like a, a tool. It's become like something, a skill, not a tool, but a skill that you need to learn in order to live a better life, in order to be more satisfied with your life, in order to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish, in order for you to feel happy and successful and, and just feel that every day is a good day. Right. So I've seen a rise of like manifestation coaches mm -hmm. that I find pretty interesting. And yes. um, how do you think, like how are they helping people? Everybody's helping someone from where they are because it doesn't matter how advanced you are in your understanding of how law of attraction works. There's always someone you can help. There's always someone who doesn't know what you know, right? And so all of it is, is good and all of it is useful. Um, there are coaches at every level of understanding and it's okay if they are helping the people who haven't yet reached their level, right? Right. Because if I look at my uh, journey as a teacher, um, I've been learning for such a long time and I, as I was learning I was helping other people too right yes I know you've helped me for sure with a lot of understanding um what I heard someone actually say this and uh, one uh, the other time is that when people look for coaches they don't look for someone that's like five steps ahead of them they look for someone that's just a step ahead because they can relate to this coach they can it's, relate that this person can take me there it's not that it happens it's that it should happen that way yeah it doesn't always happen that way. But I have to differ in some ways from that opinion in the sense that, um, let's take the example of honey because that's what's coming to mind. So if you enjoy honey, which I certainly do, then you understand that there, honey comes in many different qualities. It's all good, it's all sweet, it's all yummy, it's all good but it comes in many different qualities. And what tends to happen is once you taste the best, 
it becomes all the more hard to go back to the no name brand okay. you know what i mean okay yeah and and so there are teachers at every level and once you experience a teacher who is at a higher level the vibration that you feel from them is so pure that really it would become hard to go back to another teacher right. because of the vibration so what will happen is you'll still go back to them even though you may not understand everything that they have to teach you okay. because if you're not close to the level of the teacher you won't be able to hear everything that the teacher is offering to you right because you're at different energy levels different vibes so right. you're not corresponding energy so you won't get the full message but you will keep wanting to go back to it you'll keep wanting yeah. to return because it it just feels good right right that's right. the difference so a question i have for you is around manifestation is like how am how does that fit into the law of attraction all of law of attraction is about manifesting all of it because basically law of attraction as in when we talk about it as something that we are using consciously all of it is about manifesting it's about manifesting happiness right right it's not the search for everybody it's about happiness it is because even those people who search for wisdom are searching for wisdom because they think it will make them happy right right so for those people who say oh i i don't want any worldly possessions i'm i'm i've outgrown that and that's okay but they have a new desire now and every desire when you fulfill it makes you feel happy makes you right. feel satisfied so they're just different people wanting all sorts of different things and an understanding of how law of attraction works helps us to be able to get to those things rather than carry the longing in our hearts right which then becomes a weight and then yeah. you just feel as if life is life really worth it right right so that's what it's all about okay good well i think that concludes today's segment of uh, just finding out a little bit about manifestation i will put some links in the show notes for you today i'll link to a couple of articles that we have on this and then also some uh, other information and uh, on the facebook groups that we have sounds so, good see you later thank you very much bye